Praise the Lord, everybody. This is Brother Tyree Walker, and I want to personally welcome you to the Power and Glory Experience. Listen, we're about to go into our service. I need you to tag everyone on your friends list and tell them to get here because something big is about to happen in your room. Listen, I need you to share, share, share. I need you to sow. You can sow on Cash App at dollar sign PGM93. I'm so excited to announce we have recently started streaming on YouTube. You can find us on YouTube at Power and Glory Ministries. Don't forget to subscribe. Let's go to the service. Amen. Praise the Lord. Good morning. Hallelujah. We bless the Lord for another day that he's blessed us to see. Amen. We want to say good morning to everyone in power and glory ministries, all those in TV and media land. Amen. We welcome you to our Sunday morning worship service. Amen. If you haven't done it yet, you can go to your phone and begin to share, start a watch party, tag at least three people. And remember, we're now on YouTube, so you can subscribe to us at Power and Glory Ministries on YouTube. Amen. Praise God. We bless God. Amen. For this day that he's blessed us to see. And I don't know about you, but I'm looking for something great from the Lord. Amen. Praise God. He's seen us so far through this pandemic. Amen. We're yet standing. We're yet believing God. And we're yet, amen, praising God for his goodness and his mercy towards us. Glory to God. We're going to begin reading in the, uh, amen. We're going to go through the book of Nehemiah. Amen. Praise God. We're going to begin reading in chapter 13. I think I'm going to start reading here at verse 32. Amen. And better yet, let's go to verse 31. Nehemiah 13, 31. But the men that went up with him said, We be not able to go up against the people, for they are stronger than we. And they brought up an evil report of the land which they had searched unto the children of Israel, saying, The land through which we have gone to search is a land that eateth up the inhabitants thereof. And all the people that we saw in it are men of great stature. And there we saw the giants, the sons of Anak, which come of the giants, and we were in our own sight as grasshoppers, and so we were in their sight. If you would, if you're in the sanctuary, wherever you're at home, look at someone next to you and tell them, I don't know about you, but I'm not a grasshopper. Amen. Praise God. I don't want to let you know that we've come through this land of giants. This giant called a pandemic. This giant called COVID-19. And it looks unsurmountable it looked like we weren't going to make it and people have panicked and people have turned their back on god people have stopped believing in god because of things that have happened but i bless god that we're standing here knowing that god is more than able and i don't know about you but i don't care what the giants look like greater is he that's in me than he that's in the world and i just believe if i hold on to god and i continue to trust him he's able to bring me through anything any situation there's no giant, there's no storm, there's no problem, there's no issue that he cannot bring us through and see us through if we just continue to trust in him and have faith in him. Let's go before the throne of grace. God, we thank you this morning for your great love and your mercy. We thank you for how you've kept us and we thank you for how you brought us. And we've come this morning just one more time to lift our hands in the sanctuary to tell you thank you for another day. Thank you for life, health, and strength. Thank you for victory. Thank you for paying our bills. Thank you for healing us. Thank you for delivering us. Thank you for everything you brought us through. Thank you for seeing us through dangers. Oh God, seen and unseen. We thank you, Lord, for grace and mercy. Thank you for traveling mercy. We thank you for great leadership leadership we thank you for family thank you for brothers and sisters thank you lord god for shelter for food we bless you and give you glory god for we oh god know that if we are able god to lift our hands in the sanctuary if we're just able to lift our voices if you can just hear our cry you hear us oh god from on high you hear in heaven oh god and you answer but you said oh god if we pray in secret you reward us openly we ask right now god heal and save deliver in this place 
Oh God, those are watching, oh God, by phone, by television, whatever means they're watching, God, if they're traveling down the highway, let the power of your spirit flow through the radio. Let it flow through their phones. Let it flow through the television. Whatever media, God, they're using, let the power of your spirit reach through and save, reach through and heal, reach through and deliver, for there is no limitation to you, God. You're not limited to airways. You're not limited, oh God. We give you the praise. We give you the glory. We ask you to bless, oh God. Touch our great leaders, oh God. Give them life, health, strength, God. Continue to pour out your anointing upon them like never before, God. Bless the praise team, God. Bless every voice that's lifted in this place. Bless every hand that's lifted in this place. Let the power of your spirit flow, God, like, like never before. Let it rush through like a mighty river, washing away our sins, washing away our incontinence, washing away, oh God, our indecision, washing away confusion, Washing away sickness, washing away sorrow. Wash us, wash us, cleanse us, purify us. Do your word, oh God. Send your word and heal. Send your word and deliver. And we give you the glory. We give you the honor. We give you the praise for you and you alone are worthy. In the mighty and matchless name of Jesus, we say thank you, Lord. And amen. Now, if you will, here in the sanctuary at home, put your hands together, give God praise, give him glory, give him worship, for he is worthy. He is worthy. He is worthy. Let the nations know he's worthy. Let your bills know he's worthy. Let your body know he's worthy. Let your sickness know he's worthy. Let everything that has breath praise ye the Lord. Hallelujah. Put your hands together. We turn you over to the hands of the power and glory ministries international praise and worship team hallelujah continue to give god praise in this place hallelujah the bible declares that god is able to do exceeding abundantly above all that we can ask or think so i'm here to tell you the next thing that god's gonna do in your life is gonna be big say oh oh, oh, oh. Everybody know this song, hear me say. Sing, I believe, say, I believe that it's my season. It's my season. Yes, I do. And I believe, and I believe that it's my time. It's my time. It's my time. And I can feel it. And I can feel it. Breakthrough is in the room. Breakthrough is in the room. Yes, it is. I'm anticipating. I'm anticipating. God is getting ready to move. God's getting ready to move. Yes, it is. For I know, For I know that God is working. working. A miracle. Ready to go. And it's going to be what you're going to do. It's going to be. Yeah. I see y'all. Yeah. Yes it is, yes it is. Yeah, it's gonna be yeah. it's gonna be yeah. I'm so excited what God is gonna do in your life, but He has so many great things in store for you. Yes, He does. Cause God's gonna And it's gonna be yours. God is about to blow your mind. God is about to blow your mind. Let's take it on the top again. Say it. Say, I believe. Say, I believe. It's for you, Pastor. That it's my season. That it's my season. It's about time. And I believe, I believe, yeah, that it's my time, that it's my time, it's my time, it's my time, and I can feel it, and I can feel it, breakthrough is in the room, something's growing in the atmosphere, in the yeah, yes it is, and I'm anticipating, anticipating, God is getting ready to move, God is getting ready to move, Think for I know, oh, I know that God is working, working a miracle, and He's doing it just for me. And it's gonna be, let me see y'all. It's gonna be, yeah. yeah. It's gonna be big, y'all. I'm excited about the future because I know it's gonna be, it's gonna be, yeah. 
God, I know you're going to exceed my expectations. So I stand expecting your hand to move. Yes, I do. Said God's going to. He's going to pour. Pour me out. Oh, oh. And it's going to be yours. God is about to blow your mind. God is about to blow my mind. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The God's gonna and it's gonna pour me out. Turn it down right now. And it's gonna be yours. The God's about to blow your mind. God is about to blow my mind. Yes, 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 yes. And it's gonna be. And it's gonna be, and it's gonna be, and it's gonna be, yeah. Said it's gonna be, 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 He's about to move in a mighty way. He's about to move in a mighty way. He's about to move in a great way. He's gonna surprise you. He's gonna exceed your expectations. It's gonna be real big. It's gonna be real big. Said you wanna get excited because it's all the way. I said it's all the way. I said it's all the way. Get excited, God is protecting you now, He's taking you to that place, don't get discouraged and well do it, because you will reap if you faint not, 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 take on new strength, I said take on new strength, God is about to pull it through, God is about to pull it through, it's about to blow your mind. It's about to blow your mind. It's about to blow, 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 blow. It's about to blow, 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 blow. It's gonna be. It's gonna be. It's gonna be. It's gonna be. God is doing it right now. God is doing it right now. God is doing it right now. God is doing it. And it's gonna be seen from it. And it's gonna be seen from it. And it's gonna be seen from it. And it's gonna be real big. God is doing it right now. And he's working behind the scenes. God is working behind the scenes. God is working behind the scenes. And it's gonna be real big. 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 It is gonna be 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 It's gonna be 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 It's gonna be 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 The cops gonna open the windows of hell It's gonna pour pour me out of and it's gonna be, and it's gonna be, God is about to blow your mind, God is about to blow my mind, yeah, let's do one round, and it's gonna be, 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 and it's gonna be. I know it will be big, because I believe in a real big God, and he says real big things, and he does a real big thing. God is going to open the window and pull me out of blessing. That I won't have room to receive. Because he's God like that. Because he's God like that. And he can do whatever he want to do. That's why I know. That's why I know. That's why I know. That's why I know. Gonna be real big, 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 
Shake gonna be real big. Shake the God's corner. Open the windows of heaven. Pour me out a blessing. Pour me on to contain it. Take the time. And it's gonna be your journey. God is about to blow your mind. God is about to blow my mind. Yeah, that's it. And it's gonna be. Come on, celebrate for your big blessing. Anybody really ready for it? It's gonna overtake you too. You ain't gonna be able to carry it. That's how big it's gonna be for you. God is about to bless you beyond your wildest pleasure. Come on and praise him for it. God's about to speed up the time too. Some of you have been waiting for years and years and years and days, but God is speeding up the time. I believe he's doing it right now in the name of Jesus. I declare it as your portion. God is overtaking you. God is overtaking you. God is overtaking you. Blessings of all blessings. Blessings of all blessings of all blessings. God is doing it. God is doing it. He's blowing your mind. Yes, he is. In the name of Jesus, he's going to restore you. He's going to restore you. It's going to overtake you. And you're going to recover it all. In the name of Jesus. Oh, oh, God's gonna open the windows of heaven. Pour me out a blessing. Pour me on the container. Hey, it's hard to explain it. It's gonna be, it's gonna be. Hey, God is about to blow your mind at home too. God is about to blow my mind. Yeah, that's it, bro. And it's going to be. Hey, hallelujah. Yo, I'm really excited about what God is going to do in the lives of his people. We've been holding on. We've been patient. We've been praising God while we're waiting. God is really about to do that thing for you. I feel it in my spirit. God is about to bless you beyond your wildest measures. Hallelujah. 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 We thank you, Lord, for the big blessing that's coming, God. Some of us are probably going to see it tomorrow. That's how fast it's coming. Because we've been patient and we've been praising. And God knows what we're in and what we're going through. He's going to bless you. He's going to bless you. I'm here to tell you. He's going to bless you. Hallelujah. Father, you are my shepherd. I shall not want. I am not alone. I'm not alone. Even when I'm going through, I'm not alone. I know you're with me. I feel you wherever I go. I know your protection is around. And you know what I'm going through before I actually go through it. That's why I'm not afraid to go through the valley because I know you are there with me and everything that I'm going through he is there with you hallelujah can somebody just lift your hands in the presence of God and just thank him for never leaving you alone just thank him just for that God we thank you for being with us never leaving us alone song says this and the lord is my shepherd the lord is my shepherd and he goes before and he goes before me defender behind me defender behind me and i won't fear I won't fear. I won't fear God. I'm filled with anointing. Filled with anointing. And my cup's overflowing. My cup's overflowing. No weapon can harm me. No matter if I see it or not, it can't touch me. Yeah. And I won't fear. I because we're sure that we can say this next part confidently. Sing hallelujah. hallelujah. I am not alone. I am not alone. No. no. Yes, you are God and you are my comfort. He's my God. And he always holds me. 
is holy. Verse 2, it says this. Said he always guides me. He always guides me. Through mountains and valleys. Mountains and valleys. His joy is refreshing. His joy is refreshing. He restores my soul. Restores my soul. This is my favorite part here. Deep parts, everybody. Say, sing mercy and goodness. Y'all sound real good. Said it gives me assurance. Gives me assurance. That I'll see his glory, yeah, yeah. His glory. Sing face to face, yeah. face to face, yeah. 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 Sing hallelujah, hallelujah. I am not alone. I am not Never count, I'm never alone. Cause he is my comfort. He's my and he always hoping always me. Let's sing that part again. We're raising up the highest praise today. Sing hallelujah. Hallelujah. I am not alone. I am not alone. You promised me you would never leave me. No you will be with me till the end, and you are my comfort. He's my God, and He always holds me close. This is my prayer part here, and this is what it says. It says it. Your spirit lives within me. So I will walk in your peace. Your spirit lives within me. Said my victory, my victory you said Your spirit lives within me. So I will walk in your peace. Your spirit lives within me. My victory, my victory, my victory. My victory. My victory. My victory. Your Praise my 
wait to stop here. I don't know any day now. Stop here. Any day now. Stop here. Any day now. Stop here. You're going to open up the door. Stop here. The windows of heaven. Stop here. And you're going to pour. Stop here. Pour me out a blessing. Stop here. I don't have a room. Stop here. You are not to receive. Stop here. You're a God. Stop here. There's no one like you. Stop here. Nobody can do me. Stop here. Like Jesus. Stop here. Nobody can hold me. Stop here. Nobody can hold me. Nobody can hold me. Nobody can teach me. Like Jesus, like Jesus, like Jesus, like Jesus, like Jesus. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. I am not alone. You're not alone in Jesus. Cause he is my comfort. He's my comfort. He always holds the call. Always holds me. Oh. Great music. I want to hear y'all say. It's real simple. Just say. Sing hallelujah. Hallelujah. Make that declaration to the enemy. I am not no matter what you do. I'm not alone. God has my back always. Always, and he is my comfort. He's my comfort. Always holds me. I'm gonna go back to the end real quick because this is my favorite part. It says, Your spirit lives within me, so I will walk in your peace. Your spirit lives within me. My victory. My victory. One boy say. Your spirit lives within me. Yeah. So I will walk in your. Your spirit. Your spirit lives within me. My victory. My victory. My victory. My victory. Your spirit. Your spirit lives within. I can just activate the Holy Spirit and he'll be the one that fights for me. So I will walk in your spirit. Your spirit, your spirit is within. Your spirit, your spirit, my victory, 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 my already won. The battle's already won. It's a fight, it's a fixed fight, y'all. My victory, my victory, my victory. My victory, 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 Sing, he is my comfort. He yeah. is my comfort. Always holds me. So before singing this, I heard this. And I will not be silent. And I will always worship you as long as I am breathing I will always worship you and I will I will not be Worship you. Worship you. 
you. And I will not be. And I will not be here. I will worship you as long as I am. My worship, all of my worship. We see my worship, all of my worship. Is my worship, all of my worship. Receive my worship, all of my worship. One voice, help me say, here's my word. Here's my worship, all of my worship. One voice, say, receive my worship, all of my worship. Sing, here's my word. All of my worship, we see my worship. All of my worship, three parts here. Sing, here's my worship. Here's my worship. All of my, all of my worship, we see my worship. All of my worship. No music say is my word is my worship all of my worship we see my worship all of my worship say it again here's my worship Sounds real good to God. All of my worship. God, I feel you in the room right now. All of my, all of my worship. Sing it again. Here's my worship. My worship. I give it all to you, Lord. All of my worship. Sing my worship. All of my, all of my worship. Here's my worship. God is doing 
something, y'all. I feel it. All of my worship. As we were giving him, as we're giving him worship, worship. He's meeting needs right now. All of my worship. Jump into the pool. Sing it again. Here's my worship. Here's my worship. All of my worship. Hallelujah. Here's my worship. All of my worship. One more time. Sing, here's my worship. My worship. It's your All God. of my worship. Receive my worship. All of my worship. Here's my worship. I'm oh, sorry, y'all. I refuse to move for a minute. All of my worship. God is doing something. My something is brewing in this All place. My Sing, here's my worship. Here's my worship. Hey. All of my worship. Reaching my worship. All of my worship. Yeah. Sing, here's my One last time, I promise. Here's my worship. Yeah, yeah. All of my worship. We sing my worship. All of my worship. All of my worship. Now, somebody do it. Come on, lift your worship in this place. Father, we're expecting something today. Father, there's so much more in you as we press deeper and deeper. You're going to reveal yourself more and more. So we put ourselves in a position to receive what you have for us this morning. Father, we open ourselves now with our worship. With our worship. Father, we're ready, God. We're ready for you to move in this place. We worship you. Sing, we worship you. We worship you. Yeah, yeah. Sing, we worship you. Sing, we worship you. 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 We
we worship you. And we worship you. We worship you. We worship you, God. We worship you. 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 In the beauty of holiness. We worship you in the beauty of holiness. We worship you. We worship you from our hearts, God. We worship you and all that's within us. We worship you. 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 Worship all of my worship. I'm sorry, y'all. Receive my worship. Can't leave it alone. All of my worship is my worship. Yeah. All of my worship. Let's make it a room declaration again. Receive my worship. All of my worship. One more time from your heart, say, Here's my worship. Say, my worship. I'll give it to you right now. All of my worship. Receive it. Receive my worship. All of my, all of my worship. Hallelujah. We serve you. We serve an amazing God. You are worthy of all glory. That's why we willingly give you our worship this morning. You never fail. That's why I'm alive. That's why I'm alive. I'm alive. I'm alive. And this is not an accident I'm alive because there's more if you know help me sing sing I'm alive I'm alive I'm alive I'm alive I'm alive, and this, and this is not a disaster. I'm alive because there's more. Let's do it again. I'm alive. I'm alive. I'm alive. I'm alive. I'm alive. And it's not an accident. No, 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 no. Because there's more. I'm alive. I'm alive. I'm alive. I'm alive. I'm alive. And this is not an accident. No, 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 no. Because there's more. Because there's more. I'm alive. Because there's more. Because there's more. I'm alive. Because there's more. One more time. I'm alive. That's it. Because there's more. There's so much more. 
so much more. God is in business working through you. God is working through you right now. There's so much more. 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 I don't know who needs to hear that, but there's so much more that God has in store for you. You know that promise hasn't come to pass yet. That doesn't mean it's not coming to pass. There's so much more for those at home in here. There's so much more for you. Hallelujah. We thank you for more. We thank you for more. We thank you for more. Come on, give God a hand. Come for praise in this place. Hallelujah. Now we're about to shift gears over to our pastor, Pastor Sherry A. Booper. Y'all give her a hand as she comes. Hallelujah. Come on, let's give the Lord a hand. Praise all over the building. Love you, Alicia. God bless you. Good to see you. Hallelujah. Come on, let's give the Lord a hand. Praise all over the building. See, that was for me. <laughs> you can patty cake for me. But honey, when you think of his goodness and all that he's done for you, my God, you ought to give him a thunderous praise. Good God Almighty. Danger seen and unseen. When you see he made ways out of no way. When you see he made death behave. Oh, come on and give him some glory. You can trust. through with me yes glory to god and when you wake up every morning you can say he's giving me another opportunity hallelujah to walk up right before him to complete his will in my life to allow every prophetic word that he has spoken concerning me to be fulfilled good god almighty hallelujah i'm so excited thank you praise and worship glory to god for that beautiful beautiful Amen. Amen. Rendition that y'all have done this morning. Beautiful service of praise and worship that y'all have rendered. Amen. Truly, God is an amazing God. He's a miraculous God. Hallelujah. And I'm just excited to know that there's more. Hallelujah. And amen. I'm going to get ready to have my seat because I'm not going to minister today. Amen. And God bless. Amen. We thank and praise God for his goodness, his kindness, the multitude of his tender mercies and care. Truly, God is good to Israel and to such as be of a pure heart. But I thank him that he reigns on the just as well as the unjust. I thank him that he's a good, good father. Oh, yes, he is. Hallelujah. I love him today. Glory to God. Hallelujah. I feel, hallelujah, the Holy Ghost. And I thank him because he's yet alive. Glory to God. Hallelujah. And I thank him, hallelujah, that he's not respecter of person. He don't care where you come from. He don't care of your financial status. He don't care who your mama or your daddy was. Come on, somebody. He don't care about your natural bloodline. But I thank him today that he loves you. Hallelujah. Unconditional. Lay glory to God. What a mighty, 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 mighty God we serve. Glory to God. And I want y'all to come on and draw on in. We didn't pray and we done worshiped hallelujah and some of you still haven't got what you need from the Lord and sometimes that's because of our value system you understand sometimes what we have value in life or consider a priority or, or important affects the way we worship and how we receive 
believe God and I'm about to sit down but I'm saying that to say this I need you to draw your mind in and don't let this be another church experience you understand because everything that you need from God he's got it and ready to release it why it's already in the atmosphere dangling over top of your head and if you will pull your mind in and find him more important than everything outside that door good God Almighty you'll get it today oh yes you will see this happens to me my jewelry and stuff just start breaking when I get excited in the presence of the Lord he lets me know that I adorn you in other words don't nobody want to have church with me today but y'all know me I'll go all by myself hallelujah good God almighty because he's been what just that good but I'm gonna get ready to have my seat. And I want y'all to get ready to explode. I want y'all to get ready to make an exchange with God today because the man of God is coming forth and he's coming forth with the word of God and power and demonstration of the Holy Ghost as God would see fit him to move. I just surprised him this morning and said, Elder Cullen, would you be so kind and so sweet to bring forth the word of God today? in the absence of the apostle because I'm going to sit down and enjoy God today by myself right on over there in my seat oh yes I am but I know that there is a word from the Lord hallelujah so let's receive him with a hearty praise the Lord bless God tune in draw in and get ready to make a great exchange with the spirit of God today God bless you Hallelujah. Look at your neighbor and tell him every little bitty thing that the devil tried just did not work. Why you say that? Still breathing. Still jumping. Still clapping. Still dancing. Still shouting. And still loving God. And better than that, still got the victory. You better get it while the getting is good. Come on, Elder Walt. Hit them keys like a mad man in this house. Yeah. Hallelujah. Oh, glory. That's it. Take that victory lap. I'm tired of all the mess. I'm tired of all the junk. I'm tired of all the stuff. I'm beyond all that mess. I'm ready for the new. I'm ready for the new. I'm ready for the next thing God has for me. I'm ready for this next chapter. I'm ready for the next victory. I'm ready for more power. I'm ready for more freedom. I'm ready for my healing. I'm ready for my breakthrough. I'm ready for that next mountain. I don't know about you, but I'm going up and over. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Hallelujah. God is just that good. God is just that good. As a matter of fact, he's even better than that. Hallelujah. Don't stop. Get it, get it. 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 Hallelujah. Oh, bless the Lord. Hey. Well, well. Hallelujah. Wave after wave after wave after wave of God's glory is flowing and moving and penetrating through these walls, through this roof, through the ceiling, through the windows. Yeah, God. Hallelujah. My God. I 
mind, 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 mind. Hallelujah. You're being allowed a chance and an opportunity to get yours. You have an opportunity to get yours. I don't know about you, but if I were you, I wouldn't wait until the end of this thing. I get in on the glory train while the glory train is moving. I'm not waiting on it to get to the next stop there, the boozer, but I'm a train jumper. I'm a train jumper. I run alongside that bad boy and I jump on while it's moving. Hallelujah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. My God. Yes, Lord. Yay. Ma, 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 ma. Yes. 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 That's what's in my spirit. Minister Sinatra. Yes. Yes to the next thing, God. Yes to the next move, God. Next to the next wave, God. Yes. 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 Yes to my next miracle. Yes to my deliverance. Hallelujah. See, God's able to deliver people without us putting our hands on them. God's able to deliver without you coming up to the front. He'll heal you at the back door. He'll heal you in the parking lot. He'll move on you on the grass. God's not limited to time or space. Hallelujah. My God. Hello. My, 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 my. Well, well, now that we've gotten some of that out of our system, I guess the only thing to do is just go ahead and do it again. Hey! Glory to God. Let's make the devil matter and matter. Let's give them something to talk about. Let's give them something to gripe about. Let's give them something to complain about. They say we make too much noise. They say we move around too much. They say we shout too much. They say we get too excited. They say we act a fool. They say we don't act like we got any kind of pedigree. They say we don't act like we got any kind of common sense. But I tell you, I don't mind being a fool for Christ because I know for God I live and for God I die. Hallelujah. For me to live is Christ and to die is gain. My God, my God, my God, my God. Everything the devil tried didn't work. Everything the devil tried it didn't work. Said everything the devil tried, it didn't work, didn't work, it didn't work, it didn't work, it didn't work, it won't work, it can't work, it can't work, it can't work, it can't work, the God I serve won't let it work, the God I serve won't let it work, the God I serve won't let it work, can't work, won't work, it don't work. It don't work. It don't work. Don't work on me. Don't work on you. Don't work on you. Don't work on you. It won't work. It won't work. It won't work. It won't work. Everything the devil tried didn't work. Now put your hands together like you're going crazy and give God a praise. Let him know you're thankful. Let him know you're grateful for every little bitty thing that he's done for you. Hallelujah. My God. Hey. Hey, Lord. My, my, my. 
Yes, Lord. Everything, Lord. Purge. Purge. Everything in me that's not like you. Purge. Take it out, God. Take it out, God. I don't want it. I don't need it. If it hinders my praise, I don't need it. If it hinders my worship, I don't need it. I don't need a boyfriend. I don't need a girlfriend. I got Jesus, and that's enough. Hallelujah. Hello. My, 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 my. Glory, glory, glory. Glory. God's not done moving. God's not done moving. God's not done blessing. God's not done healing. He's not done delivering. He's not done saving. So why should we be done? I'm just getting warmed up. I'm just getting warmed up. Hallelujah. Maybe this is enough. I just not started sweating. I'm just not getting in the game. Hallelujah. Hey! Oh, glory. All right, other one. I guess we showed out enough now. They already think we're crazy. Y'all ready think we don't know what we're doing? But I got a sneaking suspicion that I'm just about a half a praise away from a miracle. I'm just about half a hallelujah from a breakthrough. I'm just about half a hallelujah. I'm just about half a glory from a brand new experience in God. I'm tired of the fall. I'm tired of the same old church. I'm tired of just coming in, get a word, and go home, get a sandwich, and go to sleep. But I want something that'll shake me till I'm still shaking tomorrow morning. Hallelujah. Oh, yeah. Yes, sir. I'm running off and leaving my old mentality. I'm leaving my old mindset. I'm leaving my old attitude behind me. I just believe the new thing. The new thing that God is doing is greater than I've ever experienced. That new thing that's on the horizon. God's about to open the door and show us who he really is. You haven't seen God yet. You haven't seen a miracle yet. You haven't seen a move yet. Just wait on the next. Wait on the next. Oh, glory. My, 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 my. Well. Did you get the shout out yet? Did you get the shout out yet? Anybody still got itchy feet? Anybody got knees that feel a little wobbly? Look like they're going to run out from under you. Oh, God. Hold on a minute, musicians. Hold on just a second. I want to see if this new church still has the anointing and still has the praise and still have the worship like they did back in the 60s, like they did back in the 50s, like they did back in the 40s where they didn't have all these fancy instruments. They didn't have all these electric guitars. They didn't have all these electronic drums and they didn't have keyboards. All they had was an OP Nana as some of them used to call it and they had their hands and feet and they used to worship God something like this. Oh yeah. And I 
remember we drive up to the church and sometimes if you'd arrive late you come see that old wooden building with the old wooden floors and if you drive up in your car elder dog and you bend down like this and look you see the floorboards of the house doing like this say oh my god they're doing the rock daniel in there they got rock daniel going on in the house of god somebody's praising god for a breakthrough somebody's praising god for a miracle somebody's praising god for healing somebody's praising god for a new job somebody's praising god because he saved her husband somebody praising god because he saved his wife and then when you get in the sanctuary you see a cloud of dust all over the place oh my god yeah yeah that kind of praise where you just get it in just rock clap your hands and rock clap your hands and rock clap your hands and rock and at the back you hear one of the old my church mother would go yes yes and it'd be on and popping oh yeah oh yeah oh yeah oh yeah I love it when God begins to deliver and all we're doing is praising God and clapping our hands, praising God and clapping our hands, praising God and clapping our hands. People getting delivered, people getting delivered, people getting saved, people getting healed, and we just praising God and clapping our hands. Praising God and clapping my hands, 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 yeah, 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 yeah. yeah, yeah. Yes, sir. Hallelujah. Oh, my God. Hey. Well, well, good on. You better watch it with that kind of stuff. You better watch it with that kind of stuff right there. That stuff gets the devil upset. That stuff gets the devil confused. Because church folk begin to praise God. The Bible says that my God, he inhabits the praises of his people. Oh. Woo. Yes, sir. Hallelujah. Yeah. All right. Yes, sir. Now that we warmed up, let's have church. Now that we've loosened up, let's have church. Hallelujah. We're going right on back to the book of Nehemiah. Hello. Now I want to be, I want to read in your hearing the 30th verse of Nehemiah chapter 13. The 30th verse it says and Caleb stilled the people before Moses and said, "Let us go up at once and possess it." For we are well able to overcome it. We read the other verses earlier. You heard them. And the people of God got a bad, bad attitude and a messed up mentality. And because they saw adversity, because they saw a challenge in front of them, they didn't just say we're babies. They didn't just say we're, 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 we're smaller than we should be. They didn't revert back to childhood. They change species. See, I'm not even human now. Because I see this challenge. I now see myself as a grasshopper. You talking about getting completely out of your personality. Completely out of your mentality. Completely out of your mindset. That I'm not even considering myself human now. I see myself as a grasshopper. Caleb said, wait a minute. Why should we have such an attitude with the God that we serve? Think about it, people of God. 
40 years in the wilderness. 40 years, the Bible said their shoes didn't even wear out. Somebody show me a pair of shoes that you had for 40 years and you can't see any damage on them. I got some I worked real hard to take care of for 10, 10 years or more. But even some of them are starting to lose their grip. These folks walked through the wilderness for 40 years over the desert through rocks in canyons and valleys and over rivers and streams and 40 years later they still had on the same shoes they didn't have a walmart they didn't have a costco but god fed them every day in fact god was so awesome to them they woke up in the morning there was manna for them to eat they didn't have to bust a grape they didn't have to do anything just go pick it up and eat it and isn't it amazing how God blesses us and we get all selfish and we get a messed up attitude they went to complaining we gotta eat Wendy's every day McDonald's is across the street but if God says Wendy's is where your blessing is you better find yourself pocket in front of Wendy's every day until he releases you I don't know who I'm talking to but somebody in here is kind of stuck you gotten caught in your routine and you think God ought to do it this way we better learn to go with the flow he fed them every day he prepared for them ways after way after way he made a way not only that as they're escaping from their captivity that they've been in for over 400 years pharaoh gets upset and he fouls up his his arm and says, let's go get him god is so gracious he holds back pharaoh's army takes them through a red sea they walk across on dry land he destroys the enemy behind them with the way that he made them to escape through he opened the door for them and closed it on the enemy what are you saying sometimes God will allow your enemy to lead you into his own ambush good God. somebody missed it let me back up since we got excited first giving honor to God hey <laughs> my great Savior our Lord Jesus Christ Amen. The illustrious our pastor, Pastor Sherry Broomfield, the awesome and anointed and on time apostle Maurice Broomfield. Amen. All the elders and ministers in the house, my wife, mother of all my children. Amen. Glory to God. Now, sometimes you, 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 you fear the enemy that's behind you not realizing that God is using that thing, God is using that situation to push you to the place that he needs you to be. Yeah. And it pushes you and pushes you and then when you get to that place, that desired place, that set place, once you get there, God says, now I got you in position so I can move so you can understand that it's me and not you. Yeah. Look at your neighbor and tell him you're bigger than that. You're bigger than that. They looked. The leader, I'm going to use it like this. They look apostle right in the face. Apostle Broomfield, we can't do it. Those dudes big, man. Man, I walked up close to one of them. He didn't see me. I had to look up like this just to see the back of his head. They're big. We can't do this. But because the man of God, Caleb, knew who God was. He remembered what God brought him through. He remembered the storm and the rain that God brought him through. He remembered Pharaoh's army. He remembered all that time in the wilderness. He remembered that calf that they made. He remembered all these things that happened and how God moved time after time. A cloud by day, fire by night. He was there. And he said, if God can do all of that, what's a man? Those giants were just men. So what? He's a bigger man than you. He's still just a man. Oh my God. Let me show you something. Elder Father, if you would, could you just stand right here, sir? 
Who do we have in you? That would that'll work. Hey, Monty, come here. You don't mind me using you today. She's a little one. And if I'm not mistaken, if my eyes don't deceive me, I think that Ella falls just a little bit bigger than her. Now you can threaten her. You can make her quake in her boots. But she has one thing that she must always keep in her mind. Though I may be smaller than you, though you may be menacing, you may be angry and you may be growling, but if I get the right weapon in my hand, I can take you out. If she just happened to have, let's just say, a, 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 a 44 Magnum in her hand right now. And if she had it loaded and she pulled the trigger, I don't think you'd be the victor in this situation. What are you saying? We always get caught on when we get situations that come in our lives. We we revert back to our old habits and our mind takes us back in the muddy groves and we get all despondent. We get all worried. We go all the way back to when they did this to me and old Bobo, he always stepped on my feet and all this stuff. We begin to dredge up all the mess that happened in our past and the devil uses that to tell you, see, it's happening to you all over again. But what if she did something real crazy? Like the children of Israel did when they went out to battle. And God said, I'm going to do something real goofy this time. I want you to tell the army to sit back over here. And I want you to send the praise team out. Could you imagine the fear that gripped those people's heart? We're going against an army. You want us to go sing? Could you imagine they come to you with a pink slip and the spirit of God say, break out in the dance. Mad as I am right now, I'm ready to cut somebody. Last thing I want to do is praise you right now. That's what the flesh will have you do. But just what if she begin to break out in the dance and give God a praise? Just get your hands up, just, just do anything. That praise begin to work in her life and God comes and inhabits the praises of his people like he always does. What happened when God shows up? What happens when God shows up? Elder Doug, come here, sir, if you don't mind. Now, you came against her, but she began to praise her God. And then, come over here, please. Her God shows up behind her to inhabit her praise. But there's something about the presence of God. There's something about the spirit of God. That's the example I really want. Come here. I'm going to let you rest. You just step back here just a second, just a second. You're not done yet. Come here, Bobby. She begins to praise God, and a big old God shows up. He's bigger than Elder Father. Now, Elder Father's got to look up at God. The enemy's got to look up at your master. He's got to look up at your savior. But there's something awesome about God. When he comes, he doesn't come by himself. The Bible says, my God, when God showed up, the Bible said his train filled the temple. So when God shows up, his glory, his majesty, his honor all begins to show up and his power begins to come in the house. Now, all of a sudden, she's not facing the enemy by herself. God comes with his whole entourage. And when all God's entourage comes, the enemy can't do a thing but turn and run. What are you saying? Stop getting negative and remember you are bigger than that yeah. you're much bigger than that so what they're threatening to take your car you're bigger than that god allow them to take that car so he can get you a brand new one where's she at sister nephew as i was sitting on my seat i heard myself asking you these words what are they gonna do when god does a crazy thing like put you in a brand new whip <laughs> then what then what? Regardless of your credit score, regardless of your financial status, God's able. What are they going to do now? You talked about me when I was in my hoopty. You talked about me when I was barely making it. What you going to do now when I drive up and it's just blinging, baby? The rims are just blinding you. What you going to do now? 
They want you to they want you to murmur. They want you to complain. They want you to be in the mother growth. They want you to walk around with like you got rocks in your jaw. They want you to walk around huffing and puffing. But my God is bigger. He's bigger than any situation. And my praise is bigger than that. Oh, yes, it is. I'm going to one church, my husband going to another. He won't come over here anymore. My God, he's trying to convince me to leave power and glory. He said, I don't understand it. I don't want to go there anymore. You shouldn't be going there. They're cuckoo over there. They're crazy over there, but I'm bigger than that. I'm not going to let you pull me out of power and glory. I'm not going to let you pull me away from the anointing. I'm not going to let you pull me away from the next wave of God. I'm not, not going to let you pull me away from what God is doing next. Because what he's doing next is going to be let me address Apostle Broomfield just for a second if you don't mind I know what's going on there's always a battle that we have to go through before we see true victory and I don't know if you've noticed it or not but power and glory is right at the threshold we're at the precipice of cuckoo land. They think we don't know what we're doing now. They think we're they think we're batty. But we're about to enter cuckoo land for real. We're about to enter the place where we walk in the door. Instead of people sitting around talking and chatting before service, we're entering the place when you walk in the door and the power of God hits you and you just go crazy. You don't have to believe it, just live. Keep breathing. Sister Brown, just wait till you come to open the door. Or you send a representative and they call you and say, you better hurry up. Tell somebody to get here. Folks laying all out on the, on, on the walk out there by the door. They laying there with their hands up. Folks out here talking in tongues and the building's not even open yet. That's my God. That's the God I serve. That's why the enemy came in. COVID came and did all it could do. COVID shook a lot of people. Heard pastor talking about the tree shaking. A lot of apples fell off the tree. A lot of fruit hit the ground. God's not done shaking. When God shakes off that last bad piece of fruit. Watch out. But in the meantime, as apostle said, in between time. God is still moving or better yet God is yet moving because there's nothing still about God but chief I want to tell you something on the other side of this I see a young man a slim young oh God a slim young man waving his hand in the sanctuary I see a slim young man taking laps around the church taking laps around the sanctuary and I see the people of God running behind that slim young man with their hands waved praising God speaking in tongues the power of God moving tongues as a fire all over the place I see a glory cloud in the sanctuary and I see people coming in driving in from out of town coming in the door saying I came from this place I came from that place the spirit of God led me here and I want to give my life back to God and I don't know why but he had me pass all those other churches to come here you're bigger than that stop whining stop listening to people complain stop listening to gripes and, and, and disgruntled people talking about leadership you're bigger than that don't let them make you a trash can don't let them pull you up don't let them steal your victory don't let them steal your joy you are bigger than that the enemy came and challenged marriages tried to tear up households because he knows where this ministry is headed he knows what's coming ahead he knows what lies in store for him he knows the tow up church can't get very far but God but God hey, people of God understand something I'm just about done and you don't realize it there's something that happened when God came on the scene. There's something that happened when God showed up. Those people finally got it together. 
People of God, we are facing our land of Canaan. Take your time for some of you to get that. I know you remember Fifth Avenue. I know you remember Tussin. Wasn't that awesome? But that was Sunday school compared to what God has in store. You know why? Apostle has matured. Pastor has matured. Power and glory has matured. God's not going to keep you on milk forever when you got teeth in your mouth. It's time to eat some meat. It's time to enjoy some T-bone. It's time to enjoy some ribeye. It's time to enjoy some New York strip. It's time to enjoy some pork chops. It's time to enjoy some ribs. It's time to enjoy my God some brisket. It's time to enjoy a good old cheeseburger. It's time to enjoy a juicy hot dog with all the trimmings. It's time to enjoy anything that you want all you gotta do is trust in God he's not gonna give you the same old same old but it's time to move on it's time to step on up and understand that the things God has done for me that was just a schoolmaster to get me ready for what he's gonna do next now I'm gonna have my own business now I'm gonna have my own employees I'm gonna be able to do all the things that I've been designed to do all this time now it's time for me to set my own hour now it's time for when God needs me to do something. I can say I'm busy tomorrow. You can't disturb me. I got to do God's thing. I'm on mission for glory. I'm on mission for God. I'm on mission for the church. I got to do what God has called me to do. I'm tired of scraps. I'm tired of leftovers. I'm tired of people deciding what I can have. I'm tired of people telling me when I can praise him. I'm tired of people telling me what I can drive. I'm tired of people telling me who I can bless and who I can't bless. My God said he's going to bless me to be a blessing. He said he's going to pour out my God. He's going to pour out window, window, open the windows of heaven and pour out a blessing that I won't have room to contain. That means if I can't contain it, I got to call Pastor Sherry. I got to call Apostle. I got to call my God Minister Sinitra. I got to call Elder Poo. I got to call Elder Favre. I got to call Elder Doug. I got to call Elder Boozer and say, my God, I got a big old truck out here. I can't take all this stuff. I don't have room for it. Come bring a pickup truck. Come bring a U-Haul. Come bring everything you can get your hands on because I got more than enough. My God is bigger. He's bigger. Hallelujah. There's no limit to what God will do if you don't put a limit on God. That was a slogan that we had in the church vestibule back in Louisiana that said something like this. There's no limit to what can be accomplished. It doesn't matter who gets the credit. I don't care about limelight I don't care about my name being up on a sign as long as God is moving I don't care about fame I don't care about recognition as long as my family is saved I don't care about all the other stuff as long as I can lift my hands and feel the presence of God. As long as I'm breathing and I'm able to give God the glory. I don't care about all the other stuff. My God. My family's not perfect. My family's made many mistakes. Many things have gone wrong. We've made many turns that we shouldn't have made in life. But look at God. I have a testimony, Pastor, that not everybody has. My wife and all my offspring are in church. That's a blessing. That's a blessing. I don't take that for granted, Elder Father, because I know my God's able. 
And I want to let you know, power and glory, family and friends, those of you watching by way of media, you dare to trust God. We're almost on the other side of this pandemic. If you just hold on, it looks bleak. There are questions. People are not sure. They're trying to decide when to lift this, when to lift that, whether they should take all the restrictions, keep some in place. But with God, it doesn't matter. Because God is in control. And if we will just trust God at the end of this thing, we're going to see who God is. God has shown us glimpses of his glory. He's shown us a glimpse over here and a glimpse over there. He let us peek under his wing a little bit. Oh, but that's coming the day when God's going to unveil his glory before us. And oh my God. Can you do me a real big favor and tell my good friend, Minister Dana, Sister Bradley, that God's not done yet. I've been to your house and I saw the one you're currently in and that's not the one. Because the one that God has for you has enough land and it has enough let me put it like this. It has enough facilities for your husband to store everything that he needs to work with. And the new stuff that he's getting is going to house all that stuff and still have plenty of room for you to do your thing until you get your, real, your, your, your own building separate from your house. Keep on doing your thing. But that day, my God, is not very far off. And I tell you how it's going to happen because of the crazy praise that you give God here and at home. But that's coming today. You're going to give God a real crazy praise in your home. And your husband's going to give you a phone call. And he's going to say something like this, baby. I was driving and I saw a house and it hit my spirit. And when God gets through, no matter what your FICO score is, no matter what your credit looks like, no matter how many denials you may run across between now and then, when God gets through, when you put pen to paper, he's going to approve this thing and God's going to be so awesome. He's going to handle this thing so that closing is going to be a breeze. You're going to be sitting up doing toesies under the table, tapping toes, blessing God and giving God glory. And then when you go out of the place, you're going to go out and run and shout and give God praise because he's going to bless you to walk in and you're going to walk in unscathed. Walk in with no debt. Walk in with nothing hanging over you. You won't walk in trying to say I got to rob Peter to pay Paul. You're not going to have to miss a bill to take care of this. But you're going to walk in with everything smooth. Hallelujah. <laughs> I don't see her in the congregation today, but I'm going to trust God that she's either watching by airways or somebody in the church that's got a big enough mouth going to open their mouth and tell her, Sister Jessica Dixon, your days at that call out are numbered because God's going to bless you to do what you really want to do. Go to school and get your license and sell, 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 sell. They're going to buy it. They're going to buy it. You're going to get your commission. You're going to get your money. They're going to want to hide this girl making so much money. She just started. She's bypassing us. It's because you're bigger than that and your God is even bigger than you. Tell the boozer. I know this pandemic, man, it's been cuckoo, man. That's how I got cancer. That's how I got cancer. My child did this. My child did. They made all kinds of excuses. They were afraid. You went through a storm. He looked bleak. For a time, you thought, man, am I going to have to call it quits on this? 
Am I going to do something else? Lord, I've been doing this so long. What can, what can I do now at a moment's notice? But because you held on, even when everything in your body, everything in your mind told you just quit, cave in, give it up. Man of God, I see you with so much business. You're going to have to call and give some away. I don't know how diligent you've been about getting some help. But man of God, you better get in touch with Zip Recruiter, somebody, somebody recruiter. You're going to have to get on the phone and say, help! Do you hear me, man of God? You walk a certain walk. You have a certain look. The way you look in this church, Debonair Esquire. Mm -hmm. Man of God, that's your business. When you walk in people's homes, you go to that door. I want you to go with that big old smile on your face. Let them know the man of God showed up to fix your situation. And because you hired a man of God, I see people being blessed in their homes just because you came to work on their property. I even go this far. The people are going to call you. Crazy stuff been happening since you came and worked on my place. I see blessings coming on people's houses and they begin to call you and thank you for coming and doing stuff and I see them referring you like crazy. I see neighbors all up and down the block. I see you going from house to house to house to house. So and so told me about you. You going to so and so told me about you and before you know it you're going to own the neighborhood. <laughs> Because your God is just that big. Yes, yes. Glory to God. Man of God, I don't know who you are with that good old white smile. God, man, you clean. You clean this morning. But I want to tell you something. Yes, that storm you've been through, that storm cloud that's been over your head, yes, and the turmoil you've gone through, wow. it was just a test. Reach up if you wouldn't. Pat yourself on the back. Say, dude, you made it. Because you know why? God's getting ready to open an alabaster box. The woman came with an alabaster box who wasn't worthy to be in Jesus' presence. But she opened that box and took some expensive oil and began to anoint his feet. I see God putting expensive oil on you. I see God putting blessings on you that people are not going to understand. You think you clean this morning. You think you're looking good today. But God said your latter days are more and far greater than your former. I see people looking at you saying my god what's happening over there what's going on in this man's life i see renewed youth i receive renewed life i see renewed vigor and renewed praise and i double dog dare you you can do it here too don't limit god to that but when you get home, yeah. I want you to act like the last little marble you had in your head dropped out coming in the door. Give God a crazy praise and watch what God's going to do next in the life of the man of God. You hear me? I'll even put it like this. The devil doesn't have to like it. I'm going to use these words. Easy street. Let me say it again so you can hear me real good. Easy street. Everything you find yourself challenged to do, God's going to make it easy. When life looks like it's going to be difficult, God's going to make it easy. When family members try to get topsy-turvy, God's going to make it easy. <laughs> Elder Poole, I know we've been in a pandemic and folks not doing a lot of traveling. But I hope every pair of shoes you've got are traveling shoes. Because I see an itch in you. 
but it's not the kind of itch where you pull them on a pasta saying, doggone, man, when you gonna let me get the mic? Doggone, man, you got an itch to do kingdom. You got an itch to minister. I don't care if it's at power and glory. God, I just want you to use me. If you can use anything, Lord, you can use me. I want you to keep your gas hand on full. I want you to keep your, 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 your lamp trimmed and burning. I want you to keep your arsenal ready. I want you to keep your traveling suits ready. I want you to keep your traveling clothes ready. Because woman of God, there are people out there that need to hear what God has in your belly. And God's going to make away even though we faced a pandemic god's going to open doors for you to minister when the devil said it's time to sit down now it's just about over woman of god you're just now getting started hallelujah hey my god Oh, evangelist! Oh, evangelist! Oh, mighty woman of valor! Oh, mighty woman of God! Oh, mighty pillow of God's word! Oh, mighty carrier of the anointing! New York is not your only ticket! New York is not your only ticket! I see God enlarging your territory! Get ready for some new ground! Get ready for some new territory! They are itching to hear the truth! They are itching to hear sound doctrine! They are itching to hear true prophecy! They are hearing the rich to hear a true word of God! And when you go, go in the volume of the book, healing, deliverance, and salvation. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Elder Doug. I know you're enjoying retirement. Don't have to hit that clock anymore. Good God Almighty. I want to run for you. But guess what? You're not really retired. You just changed occupations. You got off that clock, but you're on God's. Ministry is not in your future. Ministry is in your now. I put it in these words. Doug Brooks, no, you don't mind me saying that. You own the territory you walk on. Do you hear me? You don't talk a lot. People don't see you get excited much. But they don't see that bubbling going on on the inside. They don't see that faith that you walk in. They don't see that belief in God. Because, see, you went through something that was designed to take you out. Actually, y'all excuse me for a second, but I hadn't been watching it. And somehow I got on this thing. Uh, what's this move? What's this thing? About that crash. Manifest. They got this thing called a death date. A lot of people on this show have passed their death date. Elder Doug, you passed your death date. Because your living, because your lifestyle of worship, because your lifestyle of praise has gone up before God and God did for you like he did his servant. Amen. He might turn and look to the wall. He said, Lord, let me remind you what I've done for you. God told the prophet Hezekiah, oh, 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 stop, stop. I need you to go back and tell him I've added 15 more years. But don't get caught on the 15. God has added to your life. Not only has it added to your life expectancy, but it's added to your life in abundance. That ranch style house that you're getting is not the average ranch style house. Your ranch style house is a ooh la la ranch style house. It's the ranch style house that you're not supposed to be able to get. Because getting what everybody else gets makes your God no bigger than anybody else's God. 
You know the ones they got on the on the shelf, the one they bow down to, and they give uh, 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 bananas to and fruit and all that kind of stuff. They can get that kind of stuff. But God's giving you a house that they say, no, 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 you can't have that one. That's the one. That's why you haven't been able to find it because you've been setting your sights too low. Do you hear me, sis? You need to stop looking at the ones that you can afford. Shaba. Stop looking at the one that fits your, 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 your financial status. Stop looking at the one that you say, yeah, if, if this happened and that happened, we can still pay the bill. Am I somewhere in the house? But you need to look at the one and say, there's no way we can get that. That's the one. That's the one you go and you get that number and you call the realtor and say, we want to put a contract on that one. And when you do, God's going to take everything that shouldn't happen and put it in a glory bag and he's going to drive it to your house and put it right in your envelope and put it right in your mailbox. And when you open it up and get in there, you're going to open up and you're going to see glory all over the place. And you're going to get approved and you're going to come here and tear the house up. I'm almost in my seat. Oh my God. Jesus. You're so worthy. God, you're worthy. You're greater. You're greater. My, 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 my. Your husband's not here. I don't have to have three guesses of where he's at. This is what I want you to do. Because I realize you love apostle, you love pastor, he loves apostle, he loves pastor. He's made his statement, but how he's getting someone to take his place in here, because that's coming a day. You guys got to move. But before you move, God's got to show you his glory because where you're going, you're going to run into obstacles. You're going to run into opposition. You're going to run into situations. But before you get out of here, God's going to show you who he is. So when you get there, you're going to go there shouting. You're going to go there praising God. You're going to go there believing God because a lot of people struggle when they start ministry. A lot of people got to go through a lot of stuff for, for ministry to go forth. But I'm going to tell you what God's going to do. You're going to face challenges. There's going to be a fight. But you're going to take a big old God with you in the fight. And when you get there, God's going to open doors so fast. God's going to move so quickly. I see you in your own place before you even realize what happened to you. I see people coming in. Folks going to going to know about you. God's going to send word ahead of you. And when you get there, God's going to fill that place up with good people. People that love God. Not a bunch of knuckleheads. Not a bunch of weighty people that sit on your shoulders and weigh you down. But I want to tell you when you get there, believe God. Because you're going in a new car he's fixing all that up so when you get there you don't have a lot of debt hanging over your head because starting ministry costs money ask this one ask your pastor ask mama she knows they struggle they went without to make sure God's house had what it needed but God's going to make sure you have what you need because you've been faithful when you didn't have much. You've been faithful when you had all kinds of things going on that people didn't know about. They didn't know the struggles you had at home. They saw you giving at church, but not knowing you gave at church and said, oh, God, hey, God, I know you're going to have to take care of this because we don't have it. And because you sacrificed, because you struggled, you went through whatever you had to, to be a blessing to the house of God and to make sure your leadership was taken care of. God said, I'm sending people that are going to take care of you better than you took care of them. Tell that husband of yours. Tell that husband of yours. Get ready. Get ready, because that next song from his belly is going to be a number one. That one that's been percolating for a while, it's going to be a number one. Ah, glory to God. Put your hands together. Give God praise. Kill. Kill. You're in 
the family now. And once you're in the family, you're never out of the family. I want you to lift your hands up towards heaven and tell God I'm in there. I'm in there. The devil came too late to mess up my life. I'm already saved. I'm already filled. He already gave me joy. He already gave me praise. And he already gave me victory. So through hell and high water, through storm and rain, one thing you can never take, devil, is my praise and my worship. My worship is not to a man. My worship is not to stuff. But my worship is to my big old Oh God, and if you mess with me, I'll fool around and give him a praise right now. Hallelujah. Yeah, I know there have been many times you wanted to give up. And there have been many times you wanted to cuss people out. There have been many times you wanted to cut them. There have been many times you wanted to shoot them. But God said, even though you wanted to do it, because somehow or another you were able to keep yourself. But it really wasn't you. It was me. Because you allowed me to keep you. I'm going to open the windows of heaven. And I'm going to pour you out a back pay. I'm going to pour you out back pay. Back pay. Back pay. Back pay. Back pay. I'm going to give you retroactive blessings. Kiara. Kiara. Bring it down. Keep going. Bring it down. I want you to look around the corner at your mama. I want you to look her right in her face. If she can must up enough strength to look at you. I want you to holler at her and say, Mama, don't worry about me. I'm set. I'm set. God got me. God got me. Live your life, Mama. Live your life, Mama. I'm set. Hallelujah. I'm good, Mama. I'm good, Mama. I'm not going to want for anything. I'm not going to want for anything. I'm not going to want for anything. God's got me. Somebody get that baby from Chad. Get that baby to somebody. I'm going to put y'all business out in the street for a second. You passed up on an opportunity. You passed up on an opportunity. You said no. It's because the enemy wanted to take you out at the wrong time. It looked kind of good. It was kind of tempting. It looked pretty nice. But you would have left before you got what God has for you next here. Yeah. That's coming today where you're not going to be in power and glory. But it's not today. It's not your time yet. You know why? You haven't gone through your ministerial training. Pastor, he can't just go out and preach till you tell him what he's talking about. He can't just go out and preach till the pastor tells him what's what. You got to sit at the feet of Gamiel. God Almighty. You got to sit at the feet of a pastor. You got to sit at the feet of a pastor and let them pour into you. And when they get through pouring to you, Jimmy Swaggart, my God, R.W. Shambach got nothing on you. In fact, I'll go as far as to say that local preacher not too far around the corner got nothing on you either. Not when God gets through. Oh 
my God. Here's the good part about it. Here's the good part about it, Chad. God knows you're not perfected yet. You're still stumbling every now and then. You're still tripping up every now and then. But the one good thing about it is, the Bible says the righteous man may fall seven times, but guess what? Woo, God still lifts him right on back up. And I dare you to get up on that eighth time and see what God is going to do in you. Hallelujah. Almost done. Um, there's a prayer. Let somebody else. Let somebody else take your place there. I'm not gonna lay hands on you, but I am gonna lay a word on you for you and your husband. You've been in this ministry how many years? 23 years. 23 years. I see Michael Jordan. What number did he wear on his jersey? Was it a 23? Uh, and they say Michael Jordan is arguably the greatest of all time. We're not going to get into that argument today. But they said he's arguably the greatest of all time. And since you've been here at this ministry for 23 long years, and since you've had your sons, since you've had your family, and your husband have been here 23 years, some folks have left, and some folks have asked you, why are you still there? Some folks have said you can do this, that, and the other over at this other place. You can get a position if you come over here, but you stayed, and because you stayed, even though your husband at home not feeling well in his body. I'm sending this word to the house to him too. Oh my God, your body may be racked with pain, but your spirit is alive and well. And God said it's time for you to enjoy the good things of the kingdom. It is the Father's good pleasure to give unto you the kingdom. And God said because of your faithfulness, where you live isn't sufficient for the God that you serve. You better start looking for that house, that place that you desire to be in. You better start looking for that place that you might want to call the Ponderosa because God don't bless you to have picnics and cookouts and family's going to come and not be crowded and bunched up. They're going to have room to spread because you like to put out a big spread when you have dinner. So God said, I'm giving you the room to do your thing. <laughs> And for every nickel, every penny you poured into this ministry, God said, I've been calculating and adding it up. And God said, I'm not just a God of addition and subtraction, but I'm a God of multiplication. And God says, I'm giving unto you a multiplied blessing. He said, good pleasure, good measure, pressed down, shaken together and running over. I just ask you to do one thing. When you pay your tithes, do it in secret because it's going to blow somebody's mind. You're going to live to see it happen. You certainly gonna live to see it happen. You're 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 gonna live to see it happen. Hallelujah. We're going to have to get out of here. We're going over our time. But Minister Johnson, tell my brother, my friend, Elder Jason, say, I'm all grown up now. I'm all grown up now. Turn me loose. Let me spread my wings. Let me spread my wings. 
Can I say it like this and, and, and you not take it for disrespect? You've been kind of under his shadow. You've been kind of doing like my wife does me a lot of times. They'll call her on the phone. You know what she had a nerve to do? Give me the phone. They didn't call me, they call you. Woman of God, there are people calling your name in the spirit. They need you. They need your help. There are souls that God has lined up just for you. Woman of God, you matured and God is raising you up. You are ready for next. You are ready for next in this next move of power and glory. I see your name coming up. I see your name coming up. Get ready, woman of God. Get your mind ready. Get your, 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 your mental faculties. Get your physical faculties ready. Because it's going to be a challenge on your flesh, but it's going to be a joy to your spirit. I see you ministering and women getting saved. Ministering and men getting saved. Ministering and women getting delivered from hurts, from abuse, and all kinds of mess that they're going through in their life. I see you pouring out your heart before them, and God's going to set them free and Many of them are going to be ministers themselves and they're going to go on and do great works for the Lord. Hallelujah. You're going to live oh God, to see you happen. You're going to live to see you happen. My God. You're going to live to see you happen. 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 You're going to live to see that. What you going to do? What you going to do? What you going to do? Live, 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 live. That's what I'm gonna do. Live, 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 live. 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 Pastor Sherry. The enemy tried, and he did it in a slick way. And it could have worked. But it didn't. But I want to tell you something. He was supposed to take you out because Apostle's a great man. You're a great woman. There's greatness in you. But see, in your bowels, there are things that you've not yet uttered to Apostle for this ministry that God's getting ready to do. There's great vision in you and in Apostle. And you're carrying something. There are churches that have to be birthed out. Can I expose them real good? Apostle is a visionary, but you're the womb. And if I kill the womb, how you gonna give birth? He wanted to kill Apostle's womb so the churches won't be able to be birthed forth. So since he couldn't do it, I need you to do one thing, Pastor. Push! I see power and glory number one. Power and glory number two. Power and glory number three. Power and glory number four. And power and glory number five. And it's going to happen a whole lot sooner than a lot of us think. And in the midst of birthing out these churches, God's going to give you your youth back. That praise that you gave him. I heard you Sunday. God said, I heard you. Not only am I going to allow you to praise me, but I'm going to take out those ails. I'm going to take out the problem in your knees. I'm going to take out the problem in your back. I'm going to help you with those breathing issues. I'm going to help you even with those heart palpitations. Sometimes you praise God and you get a heaviness in your chest and it's like you can't breathe. God said, I'm taking all that out because I need
need your worship. I need your praise. The body of Christ needs it. And I'm healing you from the crown of your head to the soles of your feet. You have weathered the storm. You didn't charge me foolishly. You didn't turn your eye. You didn't turn your head. You didn't turn your heart from me. You didn't go sour on the people when they went sour on you. You didn't go tit for tat. You loved when they hated. You blessed when they cursed. You gave when they held back. God said, now I'm opening the windows of heaven and that blessing that I gave you previously is nothing compared to what I got for you next. Hallelujah. Glory to God. The children of Israel traveled in tents. They pinched tents here and there, there and here until the temple got built. God said you focus all your strength and all your energy on the temple. Now I'm putting you in your place. No more borrowed place for you. I'm putting you in your own. I'm giving you your own. You are not have to worry about moving in some place where they smoke reefer and God knows what. You're not going to have to worry about moving in some place where God knows what went on in there. I'm putting you in your established place. You had your own for a long time and the devil thought he had a laugh on you because he thought he had you down. Now you're going to borrow and you're going to rent for the rest of your life. But the devil is a lie. God said the house that you moved out of is nothing compared to where you're going. I'm giving you a place for all your shoes. I'm giving you a place for all your dresses, all your jewelry. And not only that, it's going to have room for people to come over and enjoy the presence of God with you. You're going to be able to entertain the way you want to. And I say, my God, this place is a mess, but it's going to be laid out and beautiful with shiny marble floors. Hallelujah! Glory to God. Yes, Jesus. That's it, Sister Brown. Praise God for your apostle. Praise God for your pastor. Because you're running right into your own place. You're running right into your own blessing. You're running right into your own miracle. Woo! Glory to God. Hallelujah. Anybody? Everybody in here, look at somebody around you. Look at somebody close to you and tell them you're bigger than that. You're bigger than that. Don't let situations hold you down. You're bigger than that. Oh, glory, 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 glory. Anybody, somebody, anybody, everybody, scream and give God the glory. Hallelujah. Oh, bless the Lord. Bless the Lord. He's worthy. My God, my God, my God. Just before I take my seat. Demetrius, I didn't see you earlier. But I want you to look at your sister. You're looking at a blessed young lady. You were looking at a blessed young lady. You thought you were going to have to do what you got to do to take care of her. But don't be surprised if she's able to break you off a little something. Because God's got a blessing for her that's going to shock your mind. And there is a gospel song in your spirit. There is a gospel song in your belly. That believe it or not, if you open your bowels, if you open your heart, if you open your spirit, God's going to put you at the top of the billboards 
if you trust him. Do you hear me? Do you hear me? Do you hear me? And you know what? I see people drawn to you like a magnet. So choose your words wisely. There are souls that are watching you that right now don't even know what they're watching you for. But when you get it all together and God puts you in position to where he's leading you, when you finally completely say yes to him, he's opening doors and you're going to be hiring people. You're going to have people working under you. And if you play your cards right, you can have your own studio. Your own. Where you go in and spin and mix at your own leisure. If you would dare to give God the glory and dare to give God the praise, he'll do it and he's doing it big. Hallelujah. Put your hands together and say, Lord, I thank you that I'm bigger than that. Hallelujah. At this time, we put you back in the hands of our pastor, Sherry. Pastor, can I get the two of you to stand? Can I get the two of you to stand? I almost called you pastor earlier. We don't know all things. Every now and then we check ourselves. Pastor, you believe God is done with you. You believe God's done with you. I sure don't. You know what? In fact, in the midst of this pandemic, if you trust God, God's ready to open a door for you that's going to blow the people's mind. There are some folks that have been watching you and expecting you to go down. In, in fact, let me say it like this. You got some haters. You got nerd in the walk me looking all sharp. I mean, man, you got it going on head to toe. Folks don't like the blessings of God on your life. But whom God has blessed, no man can curse. I speak life. I speak strength. I speak health. And I speak renewed strength. I speak renewed youth upon you. I even speak these words over you. Amen. Like Caleb said when he, he went, he said, and even Joshua said, look, I'm old now. I'm over 80 years old. But you know what? I'm ready now. In my old age, I'm going to have the nerve to say, give me this mountain. Give me this mountain. God, if you put it before me, I'll open my mouth and I'll watch that mountain move. I'll watch that mountain get out of my way. I speak now to the mountain and I say, be thou removed. Every obstacle that's trying to hinder you in ministry, I speak to it in the name of Jesus. Be thou removed and cast into the sea. Hallelujah. They even speak all the haters off the off your wife in the name of Jesus. You're a good first lady. You're a good mother. You love the congregation. Some of them are hard-headed. Some folk don't understand. They get on your last nerve, but you can't tell them that. You got to say, oh, baby, it's okay. Mama loves you anyhow. But you know what God's going to do? God's going to raise some of them up. He's going to bless them to get it together in their head and take some of that weight off your shoulder, and they're going to take some of your load. So you can do those other responsibilities that God has put on your heart. You got ministry in you. You can't minister when your baby's sitting. The baby's got to grow up so you can do kingdom. Grab your husband by the hand. And I want you to look each other right smack dab in the eyes and say, baby, you're bigger than that. Now let's go get it. Now 
day to give God a crazy praise. I see not only double, but triple increase in your income. And I see increase in your ministry. Just because the devil doesn't want it so, I decree it shall happen. Now, now what you got? We're blessed. Now what you got? We're healed. Now what you got? We're delivered. Now what you got? We're bigger than that. Okay, Pastor. Who is this person that hit my spirit when I walk back over into that podium? There's somebody on your heart. Somebody on your heart, real heavy. I want you to lift your hands up to heaven this way. God, I'm showing you my palms because I want you to see they're empty. I let them go. It's in your hands. God, you're bigger than me. You got it? I'm no longer going to worry about it. It's not going to take me to my grave. I'm going to praise you and watch it happen. Glory to God. And that's all there is to it. I'm just going to praise God and watch him do it. No sense in me worrying myself, cuckoo. I can't do it anyhow. So I'm just going to let God do it. And I'm going to give him the praise. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Amen, amen, amen. God bless you. I love you with the love of the Lord. And at this time, I give you back into the hands of our pastor, Pastor Sherry. Hey, Rufio. All right. I'm going to do what mama says. I'm not going to be a knucklehead son. Amen. Let's prepare ourselves to give. Those of you that haven't already given, you can give online. Amen. You can pay in person. You can send it in by mail. Amen. You can give to dollar sign. Amen. PGM. Amen. You want to be a blessing to our pastor, Pastor Sherry? It's dollar sign, Sherry Broomfield. Capital S, capital B. You want to bless our great apostle? It's dollar sign, Maurice Broomfield. That's a capital M and a capital B. You want to bless me? I'm messing with you. I want to make sure you're still awake. Amen. But be a blessing to God. Be a blessing to his kingdom. Amen. At this time, we're receiving our tithes and our offerings. Pay your tithes and God will bless you. Give and it shall be given. Good measure, pressed down, shaken together and running over. Glory to God. Amen. We're giving right now as a basket up here. Man, those of you that want to give in person today, amen, feel free. Come on up. You want to give your tithes? You want to pay? You want to pay your? You want to give tithes? You want to give an offering? Come on, come on, come on. Amen. There's nothing in front of you but time and opportunity. Amen. Let's be a blessing. Oh yeah, this is third Sunday. Amen. We know what we do on third Sunday. Amen. And if all, those of you that uh, didn't give to be a blessing to our pastors on first Sunday, amen, maybe you didn't have it on first Sunday, maybe you didn't have it last Sunday. You got it today, amen, bless our leaders. They are good leaders. They love God and they love God's people. They don't beat us up. They don't go home cussing us under their breath. They don't even cuss, how about that? They love God, amen, so we can be a blessing to them all month long. Amen. Praise God. So if you want to give your mortgage, amen, give on the mortgage. Amen. Praise God. You need a mortgage slip. Raise your hand. They will give it to you. Glory to God. You can bless or you can pay it online. Amen. Glory to God. Is everyone giving the desires to give? Woo. Yeah, glory. While we're giving, listen up, listen up, listen up. You can keep playing, but we have tacos for sale after service downstairs. Heavenly tacos. 
heavenly tacos. Amen. If you hungry, you don't want to wait till you get home. You're going to go home and cook and you want something to live alone in, in the meantime, in between time, go downstairs and get you some good old heavenly tacos. Amen. I believe they're yum, yum, good. Glory to God. Get your pocket ready and go on down there and be a blessing. Amen. Praise God. There's nothing else. Any more announcements? All hearts and minds are clear. Everybody love everybody. Praise God. Look at somebody around you smile. Say, I love you anyhow. Glory to God. This time we ask you to stand on your feet. Father, we thank you for every blessing. We thank you for every healing. We thank you for every victory. We thank you, Lord God, for every one of every deliverance. Thank you for everyone that you saved, God. In here, those being saved out of the, of, of the airways, oh God, we thank you for it. In the name of Jesus. And God, as we get ready, as we, as we get ready to close, if you just happen to be watching on television by, by, by way of your telephone, your telephone, or however you're watching, if you haven't given your life to Christ, now is the opportunity. You can be saved. You can just simply just lift your hands and say, Father, forgive me of my sins. I've not walked the way that you've chosen for me to walk. I've, I've, walked, I've walked contrary to your word. I ask you to forgive me of my sins. Wash me and cleanse me. I give my heart, my life, my soul to you. And I accept Jesus Christ as my Savior. From now on, oh God, I make you Lord of my life. And you find yourself a church, if it's not this one, that preaches the true word of God. Find your way in that door. Join up with them. Amen. And be faithful. In Jesus' name. And we are dismissed with the word. Amen.